Well, hello. <clears throat> so I'm getting pretty fed up with um, them calling my door bushings and all my internationals. Um, back in the day, you get a nice solid brass bushing. I don't know what these are. You can see these. Um, I probably won't zoom in. So there's like some sort of brass mesh and it's plasticized or some BS. I already took this one apart, but I got another one here. So they charge something like 300 bucks or 250 for one of these. And like most cars will have a kit but it's super easy, what you do is you just, uh, I'm gonna try to do this so you guys can see. faint outline And you got these inner bushings here. That's where the bushings go. You just pop these out. Yeah, so that's that inner piece of garbage that they put in nowadays. There's the inner, there's steel core on these. But anyways, what I'm gonna do there. <sighs> anyways, those are the components. You got these. And like I said, most, you can do this on the car. Um, most cars will have a kit, but if not, 
It's very simple. You get a grade eight bolt with the picture of the shoulder. Spans across both sides. This one quite doesn't because I bought this for an older Ford, but that doesn't really matter. Maybe I'll switch it out because uh, I'll just go buy longer bolts. Um, well, these are metric, so these are 10.9s, but grade eight. 10.9s I think are a little bit stronger. And I just have some solid brass bushings from a GM that I have laying around. So um, I used these before, so this should be a very snug fit. I think that's why I went metric, because it fit inside these bushings really nice and tight. And then, um, so you, I just gotta drill this out to fit the bushing. Make sure it's nice and snug. So you have to actually bang it in. And then, uh, maybe we'll go sides the drill bit and show you. Or maybe I'll use a die grinder. I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can find a nice drill bit. All right, so I found a 3164s. Just did the one so for these bushings that's a great fit she doesn't just slide in there's some tension you can get bushings that have like the knurling on it that bite in so this is just what I had so yeah I'm sorry I'm not really seeing if it's gonna be focused or whatnot I got a lot of stuff in the background but that's a beautiful fit so we'll drill the other one out So we will Beautiful. Uh, so now the other thing is this bolt, um, these pins usually come with the knurling there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. And that just holds it so both pieces aren't turning on the pin, right? Um, you don't really have to worry too much about that when you use a bolt, you can use a lock washer or you could just tack the head on there. That way it's, the bolt is only turning inside that bushing. But honestly, uh, you put some grease and like we use grade eight bolts for our pins and the brass bushings uh, on our pulleys. Uh, yeah, you just spray them every time you service and yeah, they ain't gonna wear out. But, as you can see, well, you're not gonna pick up the little bit of movement that has on this, this camera, but there you go. Um, I'll have 
have to drill this out to the size of this. So I'll size that up. Um, these are great. I mean, I've die grinded those before to fit the bushings, but because this is a metric and all my drill bits are gonna be SAE. This is 3.8, I think I need 25.64s. But I might just run the die grinder in there. Yeah, for sure. I don't know, there's no 25.64s, so. size stuff like this so it's straight is always kind of hard. size everything so you're not like I'm just shaving that like that's uh, I'm, I'm not making it much bigger than it was before this I don't think will fit yeah no I need that other 2564s but I don't have it Maybe we'll check my other case. No, I found a 2564s. I just didn't feel like walking over there. I can walk over there. This will probably be tight still. But closer than. So the threads fit in, but the shoulder doesn't, so it uh, could be a burr. She's real nice and tight, though. could just hammer it in when I'm done, but the burr, it'll run uh, maybe a die grinder bit for a little, a little millisecond. So these are great tools. That's a great tool. <laughs> I need like literally nothing for this. <laughs>
go. And that's all she took. So I always like to take my drill bits and put them back in the correct case so I don't have to look like an idiot. So now what? Now if you don't remember which way it goes, which I don't. Should have taken both apart, I guess. Good thing I got a truck right here. There you go. Now I'm lock nut. Like I said, I, I don't really like how this is on the threads. That's gonna 100% mess up that bushing real quick, so I'm gonna go buy a longer one. But, there, there you go. And I don't make $250 an hour, even though I wish I could, so, yeah. I mean, if they sell a kit for your vehicle, which, I mean, nine, they, they sell them all over the place, for like everything, so. But there you go, in case you're in a bind and they don't have one, or say your door falls off because, I don't know, something's retarded. Oh, I can't say retarded, can I? Because something retarded. Uh, yeah, there you go. Like and subscribe. Give me a like and a subscribe. And uh, what time is it? Oh, fuck. My brain's not working. All right. Have a good night.